Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with some Donruss Optic Baseball by Panini. 2008 edition. Right there on Saturday the 27th, right? Yeah, 27th. Six box, half case, second half of the case, number four. Thanks to Ronnie for last bot and mojo. Thanks to everybody for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. And um, I actually shuffled these boxes because the, the hot boxes end up in the same, or the, at least the autograph hot boxes end up in the same position. So I was like, all right, I'll shuffle these. And it turns out that the first break only had one hot box. So we should be expecting another autograph hot box and both parallel hot boxes in this half. We should. Unless this is like a weird case, but we should. Game four tonight, ladies and gentlemen, World Series. Crazy game three last night. This looks like the parallel hot box already, which was, which was insane. The longest World Series game, I think longest postseason game in history, both by innings and by hours, I believe. Maybe not by innings, but definitely by hours. So we'll see how the Dodgers, we'll see how the Dodgers do tonight. They're kind of in the dry. Momentum is kind of with them now. You know, the Red Sox used up a lot of their bullpen, and it's kind of a kind of a gut punch, you know, to to play that long, play that hard for that long, and then lose. And you're on the road, so you don't really have the comfort of comfort of like sleeping in your own bed, you know. So the Dodgers definitely work their butts off. And they actually came away with the win, so they avoided that gut punch. So let's see how key is though. Rich Hill is the key. Rich Hill has to has to try to go what at least five innings, five six quality innings. We need the Dodgers bats to kind of wake up early. All right, well, we'll see what happens in about an hour, I think, game time, about an hour from now. All right, Robinson Cano out of 299. So we'll set these aside and we'll sleeve and top load all of those. We'll save one of those too. We'll sleeve and top load all of these before they go out, unless it's like numbered to 25 or less, in which case I'll sleeve and top load it immediately to protect those low numbered cards. Good luck, everybody. This is figure team number four on a Saturday. Yelich. Uh oh, TJ is like, I forgot to mention this last night because I didn't want to jinx it, but dot, dot, dot. Tiago Vieira to 299. Zach Granite to 199. Salvador Perez to 299. Jack Flaherty to 50. There's J.D. Martinez to 199, Shohei Otani, Marcel Ozuna. Oh, I'll save one of these trouts for you, Elvis. I know that Elvis likes, likes that guy. Everyone likes that guy, I guess. We've got Nicky Delmonico is your rated rookie autograph, Orange. That goes to the White Sox, Brian Sawyer on the board. Fifty-eight out of seventy-five. That's right. You're right, TJ. All five uh, LA teams, I think, except for the Lakers, right, will uh, will play at home tomorrow. So the Galaxy have a game tomorrow, and they're trying to. They need a win in order to get a playoff spot, the last playoff spot. I think the Clippers and Kings are playing at home at Staples, so they got to do one of those cool like changeovers from either ice to court or court to ice. I forget which way. I think from ice to court. So they got, they got to do that. And then obviously the Dodgers are at home. And then who else? Is that five? And Daryl Strawberry autograph. Wow, nice. Optic autographs, Daryl Strawberry. Yeah, my cousin texted me that, and it was like LA Sports Equinox. There you go. Nice Daryl Strawberry for Philip and the Metropolitans. Ken Griffey Jr. out of 149. 
Chris Sale to 99. Ryan Braun to 149. Francisco Lindor. So a lot of parallels there. Cool. We'll set these right here. All right, so those are our first two autographs. Next box, good luck. And Prism Football coming up after this. Let me drop the schedule again for those of you who are just joining us in the live stream. There we go. So right now we're doing the Optic, obviously. Pick your team four. Coming up a little bit after that will be Prism Football, pick your team four. And then after that, I'm not sure what, what's going to happen after that. I see one order in already, but then, um, but then after, and after that, I'm not sure what we're going to do. But I think Flawless Baseball is probably the closest one to going. John C. is in the house saying that I read that last night's game was longer than the entire 1939 World Series. I think I heard something like that, too. That in, entire last game, I'm sorry, 2018 World Series Game 3, seven hours and 20-some-odd minutes, I think was longer than the entire World Series in, in, like, the 30s at some point, something like that, which is kind of insane to me. I am, John. We are. Dodgers are still in it. I think that was a huge momentum win for them. Now they now they got to keep it going. If they tie it up tonight, man. Then we've got a series for sure. All right. Good luck, everybody. Next box. There's Ryan McMahon, one of the nicest autographs in the hobby. Rated rookie auto. Rockies, that'll be for Johnny and the Rocks. 72 out of 99. Marcelo Zuna is out of 25, nice. That's right, John. Never say die. Never say never again. An old James Bond movie. And then we've got Willie Calhoun, rated rookie autograph for the Rangers. That'll be for Justin Taylor. Not Justin Turner, Justin Taylor. TJ say we're going to win. I hope so. I'm feeling good about it. I feel a lot better about it today than I have the entire series. And it looks like the autograph hot box is here. Rated rookie, Reyes Moronta. That goes to Jess. Jess Fox with the Gigantes. There you go, Jess. Future Big Sexy, I think, right here. I mean, Bartolo Colon has to retire at some point, right? Who is going to take that mantle after he's retired? I think Reyes Moronta. And we've got Starling Marte. For the Pirates. And that will be for Justin Taylor. Oh, and another autograph. Tomas Nito. There's Walker Bueller. Dust off your Walker Bueller autographs, ladies and gentlemen. Your rookie autos. Uh, yes, we, we will have Topps Triple Threads Baseball in a couple weeks. We will definitely, we should have plenty of that. Thanks, well, on the Red Sox and 
So there are your five hot box autographs. Next box. Ray Wright and Adam in the house saying, I hate Ian Kinsler, but Nathan Eovaldi is a god. Eovaldi, I think everyone around the league has been saying this. Eovaldi, Nathan Eovaldi is a free agent next year. Or after this after the season's over, he is a free agent, and he just got paid. Open the open the register for Nate Eovaldi because a performance like that is huge. You know, Nate Eovaldi used to be a Dodger. He was drafted by the Dodgers, made his major league debut with the Dodgers, and were with them for a number of years. I feel better about the Dodgers lineup tonight, folks. Even though there's a lefty, Eduardo Rodriguez, on the mound, I'm glad that um, that Dave Roberts didn't get too cute like he did with the first two games. And he's got he's got uh, Muncie still in the lineup, and he's got Bellinger still in the lineup. Looks like this is our next uh, our next parallel hot box. That's right. Yeah, he went to the Marlins, I think, for. I think he was part of the Hanley Ramirez deal, if I'm not mistaken. And then he went to the Yankees for, for a little bit, and then ended up with the Rockies. All right, parallel hot box coming up. Good luck, everybody. There's Jose Ramirez, it's 299. Harrison Bader. Anthony Rizzo, Freddie Freeman, Zach Cozart, Michael Fulmer, Otani, running Otani, Chris Sale, and looks like our first autograph in this box is Ryan McMahon. Rockies, Johnny with the rocks. Another one for you. Glaber Day, Glaber Torres, Otani batting, Jose Ramirez, Joey Gallo to 149. What's my prediction tonight? Well, from a <laughs> from a wagering standpoint. I've just been betting the Dodgers the entire postseason just blindly, whether it, whether it has whether it has a wagering value or not. I don't know. I'm hoping the Dodgers bats wake up a little bit. I'm hoping for like some sort of six four kind of game. I think over. What what's the What's this? Uh, what's the run total in tonight's game? Whatever it is, take the over. You got some bullpens that are a little tired, and uh, you know you know the bats on both sides, of, on both teams, are looking to to wake up a little bit. There's Luke Weaver, optic autographs for the Cardinals. That'll be for the X line and the Redbirds. And this is huge right here, Fernando Tatis Jr. That's going to be the next big name in the hobby, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe next year, next year or two. Keep an eye on that kid. Are these all my parallels? This is my parallel stack? This stack. There we go. We're almost done. There's Verdugo. Nelson Cruz. And Verdugo again. Oh yeah, I do have NFL picks for you guys too. I just I didn't post it in the the break menu yet. I'll do it before the prison break after this. All right, we're about halfway through this half case break, ladies and gentlemen. We just got about another 15 minutes to go in this one. And after that, 
We'll start, uh, after that, we'll start the Prism football break. Pick your team four. And after that, I don't know what else we're going to do after that. I only see one order coming in right now from, uh, I believe, Rich, Rich Schmidt. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. But I'm sure once those two breaks are done, we'll be back on the momentum train again. I agree, Adam. Adam. Adam saying, hey, I, I think that game gave the World Series a lot of life and emotion. Thought it was much needed. I agree. I think I think it looked like it looked like, well, looks like the Dodgers might just get swept out of the World Series. Dave Roberts making a lot of mistakes and blah blah blah. Managerial missteps, I guess. I wouldn't call them mistakes, I suppose, but missteps, maybe. But hey, that was a huge win, a big emotional lift for the Dodgers and for the for the series itself, I think even neutral fans are just like, okay, I think we got a ball game now. Rich is saying, just an FYI on Prism Football, the Silver Prism rookies are selling better than some of the autos. Wow. All right, well, maybe I'll... That's good to know. I had a feeling that they'd sell well, but I, I didn't know that well. All right, good luck, everybody. There's D. Gordon. Refractor, that'll ship. Thought it was numbered for a second. It's George Brett for the Royals. Nice, out of 149. The X line with the Royals. Let's go, Justin Turner. Jack Flaherty. Austin Hayes for the O's. That's for TJ. And our first autograph is that Walker Anthony Bueller. It is. What a time to get this. What a performance from him last night, Kevin O. Kevin Oliveira with a little Dodger Joe Mojo. Good time to get the Walker. Seventy-three out of ninety-nine. Rated rookie autograph Felix Jorge for the Twins. Arthur on the board. Thirty-three out of fifty. <laughs> All cool wit. I just noticed that he's saying, "Hey, you know there were mistakes, Joe. Just say it like you mean it." Yeah, there were mistakes. I thought Dave Roberts was going to cost us the World Series. Or, or at least get us, like, swept out of the world. I, I mean, we still might lose, but get us swept embarrassingly. That's what I thought. Don't screw it up, Dave. He's got David Freeze leading off, Max Muncy, then Justin Turner, Machado, Bellinger, Puig, Taylor, and Austin Barnes. And then Rich Hill, then the pitcher spot. Which is, which is I think, what the lineup should have been in the first two games. Like, you got to get Mun – Muncy and Bellinger have to be in that lineup. This is what the lineup should have looked like game one and two. Ray is saying that Sale, Price, and Porcello all asked Core to start tonight, and Eovaldi told everyone he's ready to go as well. It looks like, looks like a all-hands-on-deck situation. On the Red Sox side, we got Mookie Betts leading off, then Benintendi, Steve Pierce. J.D. Martinez in the cleanup spot. Xander Bogarts, Eduardo Nunez, Rock Holt, and Christian Vasquez in the, in the pitcher spot. David Freeze is playing first tonight. Muncy playing second. And then Bellinger is in center, in case you're keeping track of that too. And J.D. Martinez will be in right field as well. That's right. TJ is like, man, he's been working in baseball for 22 years. This is what it's all about. It is. You're all for Mookie playing second. I don't think Dustin Pedroia is even on the 
Oh, is he on? Is he even on the postseason roster? I don't think so. Yes, Rex, you're you're allowed to enter the room even though you haven't bought anything. Contrary to popular belief, I don't I don't only pay attention to high rollers. <laughs> There's Bryce Harper. What's Machado doing admiring that long single last night? Yeah, I, w I wasn't too pleased with that. Rated rookie. Uh, although, one of the guys on MLB Tonight was saying that, hey, StatCast shows that if he tried to get to second, he would have been out. But at least, you know, maybe hustle to, to first then. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think Machado had that in his head. It's like, oh, uh, I know my StatCast to second numbers. And judging from the flight path of that ball, you know, I, I only have X amount of seconds to get there. And that's not usually how fast I get to second. <laughs> so there's Reese Hoskins. Nice Reese Hoskins for David Noah and the Phillies. And Brandon Woodruff will go to Ronnie and the Brewers. So I don't think Machado was thinking that, even though that's what would have happened. But, but yeah, I mean, hey, he's not, quote, Johnny Hustle. I think he meant Charlie Hustle, but... Oh, there's Dustin Madroy. We are just talking about you. Laser show. But he's not Johnny Hustle, even though he meant Charlie Hustle. It's not his cup of tea. <laughs> Frankly, I thought it was gone, too. Oh, there's Manny Machado. We're just talking about you. Well, hopefully he won't make the same mistake tonight. There's Tony Gwynn. There we go, Nelson Cruz out of this world, and Josh, Josh Bell. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, I think... <laughs> well, Justin... Or oh, Chris Taylor's beard grew six inches during last night's game. I think Walker Buehler's got a little bit of a playoff beard going, too. Yeah, no, no sun out tonight, John. A little overcast in Redondo Beach. I guess fall is here. I think there's no more hot boxes, TJ. We got the two, we got the autograph hot box, and we got our two parallel hot boxes already. So I think this is just the normal two autographs. There's still a handful of parallels in here, too. I don't. I don't think we have Sean Dunstans in this era, in this generation of baseball anymore, Paul. All right, last box. Good luck. Good Sean Dunstan reference. I haven't thought about Sean Dunstan in a while. There's Nick Williams, to two ninety nine. Old Cub, Sean Dunstan. There's Andrew Benintendi out of 99. And we got Brett Phillips, another brewer for Ronnie. Ronnie with the brew crew. Oh, you played you play golf with his nephew? Nice. Does his nephew play ball? Any future Dunstans? We've, we've got a lot of, a lot of old school... Uh, a lot of old school players who seem who who have kids who seem to be um, 
Oh, that kind of fooled me. I thought that was going to be an autograph. You know, a lot, a lot of players as kids who are now starting to play, get up to the big leagues now. Vlad, Vlad Guerrero Jr., Bo Bichette's kid. I think we got a couple Clemenses working their way up in baseball. Travis Shaw, Jeff Shaw's kid. Fernando Tatis's kid. All right, that, wait, do we not have a second autograph? On average. Well, there you go. Sorry about that. Well, pick your team number four in the books, Donner's Optic Baseball. That was our last half case break. Keep an eye out for more baseball on jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we will break with you next time. Bye-bye.